creates an interactive environment where you can use digital storytelling to convey a sense of place about a location. This video will show you the steps to making a basic tour and is paired with media assets for you to replicate the tour. Once you are familiar with the tool, we recommend learning more about place-based learning through Infiniscope's workshops and resources to build quality narrative tours that will engage your audience. To start a project, click the plus icon, then name your project by clicking on the pencil icon next to the largest letters and typing the name. You can change the name at any time. Upload a JPEG panorama by either dragging the file into the Upload Panoramas field or by clicking to browse and find the file. Spherical panoramas or panos that are 360 degrees with a high resolution will work best, but there is a 10 megabyte size limit for any file added to a tour. You can then rename the panos. You can also delete existing content like this blank panorama used as an example. Next, click on the panorama to open the panorama editor. Here you can view, edit, and add hotspots like media and links to the pano. To edit the information presented by the pano, click on the pencil icon to open a pop-up window where you can name the pano, type a description, and even add sound like MP3 audio. Click on the green check on the top right when finished adding the information. To maneuver in the tour, click and drag to change the view. Scroll up and down to zoom in and out. Click on the mountain icon to set a starting position or default view within the pano. To add hotspots, like media and links, to the pano, click on the Add a Hotspot button. A pop-up menu will appear. There are many kinds of hotspots to choose from within the tool, as seen in the drop-down menu. For the first hotspot, let's connect this pano to a second one. You can then rename the pano and move the hotspot. At any point, you can preview your project by clicking on the binoculars icon to preview the project in the browser window. Though there are thumbnails to access panos at the bottom, the hotspots can guide viewers in a non-linear way as well. To go back to the editor, close the tab when finished previewing, as was done here off screen. Let's add some more hotspots to this example. To move to another pano, use the double arrows or move with a hotspot. Double click to add the hotspot. You can also drag it to a better location. Use the drop down to choose the type of hotspot to add and fill in the information associated with that hotspot. For a text hotspot, select the button from the menu or double click. The hotspots here were added by double clicking. An image hotspot can take JPEG, PNG, and GIF files. You can also add PDFs. And you could add videos using either Vimeo or YouTube. You must make sure the YouTube or Vimeo videos are not set to private for others to be able to view them in the tour. Finally, websites can be added. Some websites do not have permissions to be viewable in tools like this, so you should check them in preview mode to make sure they work. You can see a menu of all the hotspots added by clicking on the Toggle Hotspots Table button on the Pano menu to the right. This menu will allow you to see each hotspot within the menu, and also, if you click on the menu item, it will show you the hotspot within the Pano. Once you have edited your Pano, you can add more Panos to the project by leaving the editor and clicking on the Panoramas in the navigation bar. Once you are ready to share your tour, Click on the Share button in the menu to get a shareable link. The link to the project will be shown in a pop-up window, allowing you to copy the link to the clipboard or open the tour in a new tab. Now that your project is publicly shareable, you will see a couple of new icons appear in the toolbar. You can make your tour private by clicking on the Make Private button, and the link will no longer work. By clicking it again, it will be public using the exact same link as before. 
If you make changes to your tour after making it public, click on the Update Changes button to save those changes and push them out. These changes will be updated using the same link. And that's how you can make a tour using Tourit. This was to make a basic tour to get your feet wet. To take your tour to the next level, use Infiniscope's workshops and resources to develop a sense of place, increase accessibility and inclusivity, learn media strategies, and more. For more information and support, visit infiniscope.org.